to this time of scripture and reflection. The reading today is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verses 14 through 20. When the time came, Jesus took his place at the table and the apostles joined him. He said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. I tell you, I won't eat it until it is finished in God's kingdom. After taking a cup and giving thanks, he said, Take this and share it among yourselves. I tell you that from now on, I won't drink from the fruit of the vine until God's kingdom has come. After taking the bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after the meal and said, This cup is the new covenant by my blood, which is poured out for you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Monday, Thursday is strange and difficult this year. Holy Communion, the sharing of the Lord's Supper, is central to this night. It is communion because we are together, and tonight we are physically separated. We cannot invite everyone to the same table or share the same loaf or drink from the same cup. The Lord's Supper is one of only two sacraments for us. We believe that at this meal we are together with Christ and we are joined by all the saints, living and dead, as we take and eat. That is something. And it is no less real and no less amazing because what we affirm is a spiritual presence. We are one body with Christ and with one another, no matter how many miles and walls are between us. Communion is a sacrament with many meanings. Always as we partake, we are remembering. Might that be our focus tonight? We remember that in Christ, God came to be among us. He walked with us. He taught and healed and sang and prayed and ate with us. Might we be able, in, remem in the remembering tonight, Celebrate our oneness, even in our separation. Might we embody his presence in the memory of his community together with him, rejoicing in the memory of our shared tables at which we have worshipped and eaten, learned and discerned. Might we sit at table tonight with whomever is in your home or just with the risen Christ, and take bread, or cracker, or rice, or pasta, and wine, or juice, or milk, or water, and give thanks for our many blessings. Might we, we remember that Christ has come to rescue us, that he gave his life to redeem us, that he rose again and promises to be present with us and with the whole of his church, until the end of the age. Amen. Lord, we thank you for calling us together, sometimes physically, always spiritually, and for being with us whether we are collected or apart. Thank you for your presence in our midst. Thank you for continuing to walk and teach and heal and pray and eat with us. Bring us together again, Lord. Until then, remind us that you are always by our side, which is the grace that saves. Amen.